when you sit down and you decide to work with a coach, good for you, first of all, for investing in yourself and your improvement and your growth. That's amazing. What does it actually look like to sit in the session with a coach? A coach is going to move you through a coaching arc where there's going to be a clear beginning, a clear middle, and a clear end to the conversation. Through this arc, in the beginning, the idea is to kind of create this agreement. This and we're trying to understand what's on your mind. What's the pebble in your shoe? What's acute right now? What's something that you need to solve or something that you need to work on? What's weighing heavy on you? There's lots of different ways to ask this question, but you might say like five different things and your coach is going to zoom in and force you to choose one of those things. So prioritizing out of everything that you gave them, one thing to work on. And then you're going to decide on a goal for the session. So with our time today, what is it exactly that you want to walk away with? And so you're going to define, okay, well, I know my problem. I know my challenge. Um, I want to walk away with it, some clear action items, some next steps for me to take. Why is this goal so important? What's the, what's the deal here? Like what is at stake? And why is it so hard to achieve this goal? What's in the way? What are the roadblocks that you keep running into? So that really frames the conversation and you're going to start just kind of taking the, that information and diving in from there. Coaches really have a lot of different ways to sort of pull information out. They can use appreciative inquiry to kind of think about what's working well. They can use different frameworks to sort of position the conversation where you may look back and pull things forward. But essentially from there, that middle part of the conversation is going to be this back and forth where you're talking about that situation, you're trying to gain new insights, you're looking for different pathways, and the coach is going to ask powerful questions to help get you there. And so at some point in that conversation, you're gonna find a clear direction, a clear kind of like my favorite, like light bulb aha moment where there's a shift. There's a shift in your perspective, there's a shift in thinking. Oftentimes you hear, huh, like I really didn't think about this until you asked that question, and now that I'm thinking about it, I have all these uh, ideas. I have this idea or this came to mind or um, hmm, here's something that I actually haven't really tried yet and I wonder what that would look like. So just exploring what all of those things that come up are. And then as you kind of wind down uh, at the end of your session, you're going to start thinking about forward momentum, right? That's the goal of coaching moving you forward, moving you closer to achieving that goal, having new insight, new perspective. What's the new learning and how do you want to use it? What are you willing to do about it? What resources and support do you need? Um, what do you need to make sure that you stay committed to this? What would be helpful? So if you're curious about what it's like working with a coach in a session, that is sort of a um, high level idea of how a coaching conversation could go. All coaches are different. All coaches use their own models, their own questions, their own techniques, do some creative brainstorming or do some visualization, do some somatic work. Those are really the uh, key points in a coaching conversation and helping somebody move forward in a session.